All right, so what we have here is a lock cylinder assembly out of the AMC Eagle. It even has the American Motors logo right here on the key. Now, this lock cylinder is old, and as a result, it's been giving me problems that beyond lubrication are not going to work for me. These will just quite simply wear out. The good news is, however, you can still get replacements because this is not an AMC proprietary part at all. In fact, this is General Motors. This is a replacement, BWD Engine Management. Here's your part number right there. So inside of here is our lock cylinder. There we go. Is our lock cylinder and a replacement set of keys. Now, the situation is, however, when you order that lock cylinder, the keys, well, you really don't have much of a choice out on it. So you're going to notice immediately your keys are not going to match. And that's a problem for me. So what you can do is you can actually get this rekeyed. Um, take it to a locksmith, take your original key, heck, even take your, take your key code, and they'll be able to redo it for you. The interesting part was that I actually went to a locksmith, fairly good guy, and he said, you can't rekey these. This is for 77 year and older vehicles. Or 77 and, yeah, 77 and older vehicles. And, like, okay, it's 1982. Don't tell me they've been using it for longer than that. But this is totally serviceable. No, you can't take these apart. They're impossible to take apart, and they break. And they're difficult to work on. Um... So he gave it back to me. So I went and quickly checked, and well, this here is the AMC TSMs, or Technical Service Manual pages, regarding the key. And no, yep, you can clearly take this apart. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm actually going to show you, with both lock cylinders here, exactly how to take them apart, because they're the exact same thing otherwise. Now, first thing I want to point out with this here is that... Um, the 82 model, and probably earlier, has a plastic retainer here. But they also have this tab at the back here as well. And this is what you use to retain everything into the uh, steering column. Um, I know for the 84 model year, and probably, possibly 83? But I know for later, it actually replaces that with just basically a groove down the side that a bolt goes and just holds it all into place. Anyways... For this, you are going to need the lock cylinder, you're going to need your keys, and you're going to need a little piece of metal. I'm using this here. The instructions specify to use a paper clip, but a piece of welder's wire works great. Just make sure you have a bend here of about, oh, six millimeters or so. So on your lock cylinder, you're going to find a dimple here and a dimple there. These indicate a set of brass pins in the external cylinder. And what we're going to have to do, first off, the key is going to go in, you're in the lock position, turn it to the accessory position. There we go. The easiest way to know that you're in the accessory position is that, remember that dimple here? Look to the very top. That brass pin should now be resting next to a stop pin, or just a basically a stop that's sitting on the interior cylinder. So now we're going to take our tool, this one here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that to push down that brass pin. And then we can rotate the lock so that it sits directly on top of that brass pin. And it should separate itself. Come on. And there you are. There we go. And when you get it over that, it will pop open a little tiny bit like this. More than likely, it's not going to come apart completely because there's two things. One, your nylon key insertion pin is probably in the way. And two, your key lock pin is also probably in the way. So what you're going to do is take your piece of metal, and you're going to reach in here, and this pin, actually you could probably do it with your fingernails sometimes, just pull it out. Pull it out as far as it'll go. It's like retained in there but pull it out so it doesn't interfere with the clearance of the inner lock cylinder. At this point here now, you can take your key out, like that. And now for the second part, the retainer, which holds the key in when you're in everything but 
well, locked, there's a plastic insert that's available, uh, visible right down the middle here. So simply go in, pull that towards the edge, and the whole lock should come right apart like that. All right, so with this dismantled, um, be careful of these two brass pins. They are spring-loaded. Um, you have the anti-theft ring, and you have a wave uh, washer. Now, if you're really dedicated to the task, you would rebuild this assembly here. This is uh, the lock assembly. But if you just want to retain the chrome piece for originality, there's six bent-over tabs on the top. Straighten those out, and this whole piece should come off. And it's keyed, as well as uh, keyed in the same spot on the original AMC lock assembly, so you should be able to just switch it over, bend those tabs over, and you're back. To access the pins on this, this metal tab right here has little legs that drop down into the casting, and there's a stamp there, 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 and there. Uh, bend those back or file them down, and you can lift this metal cover off, and then you ha can remove the springs, and you have access to the pins itself in the lock assembly. Now, when you're completed with this whole work, and you've repinned it, and you've transferred everything over, and now this key works in a lock, which was originally sold with these keys, uh, installation is pretty much reverse. So we'll put the wave washer on. When I put the anti-theft ring on, I'm going to line it up with the actual locking pin, which holds the entire lock cylinder in the lock position. And now I'll go with our exterior cylinder, and I'm just going to line that up. And if you run into resistance at this point here, oh, and I've dropped a pin. Crap. Do not lose those. Do not lose the springs. It will be miserable. Where were we? There we go. So you'll get to a point of resistance here. And that's because you see here, this has fallen back in again. So go with your little piece of metal. Just kind of pop it out, and it'll further itself back in. And if you're lucky, like me, it'll pop in all the way like this on the first try. Take your new key, put it back in, twist it, and it's locked back together. And we're going to accessory. We'll be in lock. Are we accessory or are we in lock? Let's take a look here. Accessory, and there we go. And it pops out like that. And now you can reinstall this rekeyed lock assembly, which you can dismantle, and it's very easy to repin back into your vehicle. And that's all there is to it. In just a couple of minutes, we've demonstrated that, yes, this is possible. Hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, have a good one.